What up guys, 04 Haugen here, video number two on this Saturday. Uh, not that the day matters to you when you're viewing, because you're probably not going to be viewing it on the day that it aired. But, it's up. Uh, what we're going to do today is this patch just released maybe a week or two ago where they introduced accessories. And I want to take a little time to break down the number one guy in our arena. This guy has been forever... Um, there's, there's other things you can do. If you're looking for builds or looking for more information, you can come over to World Team Arena. You can check some of these people out. But you can see he's actually, he's ranked up there in World Team Arena too. I didn't really know that. This guy can't be beat. So we'll look into him another day. But World Team Arena is a totally separate, or a totally different kind of thing. You look at him here, you look at him Team Arena, and he doesn't do minor because most people don't because it's a big waste of time. Saha, Saha. Messaged me online. He told me how to pronounce his name because I got it wrong in the last video. Thank you, Saha. Thank you for watching. Um, hey, do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up button, please. Um, or don't. If you think it's a bad video, give it the thumbs down. Um, yeah, let's take a look at Dex. We're going to try to... This video, I'm going to try to bust out super quick. My wife's been gone for about a week. She's on her way home. And uh, this place is not clean, so I'm going to straighten it up. I've been living like a bachelor. And, uh, yeah, so let's get into Dex. Here he is. This is his arena comp. Xenon. <laughs> He's got Xenon and all four gods. He's got Prospera, Styx, uh, 66. He's got Atmos and Alexis, 62. Um, as I'm doing this, I'm going to read the information because I've already gone through and jotted it down as I'm opening uh, up his stats so as I'm pulling down the stat menu so first we'll do Prospera Prospera we're gonna do first because everybody got a Prospera now his is what do I do here that'll work perfect his is 66 so based on those stats you have to know that his build is kind of like a rage build right you can see he's got double attack let me see he's got double attack and he's got evasion and evasion. And here's what the stats look like. Now the reason, like I said, the reason you have to consider this is because if you just got Prospera and you're like, oh, I'm going to build him the way Dex does, right? Well, evasion might not be the best thing, or uh, I'm sorry, attack might not be the best thing for you. You might need to go HP on one if you're dying. So Prospera, we can get into her on a hero build day or something, or like a, an in-depth review on each hero, which I might be doing a little later. But you look at her, her attack speed's 30. She's got 75 evasion. I don't know if he's aware yet that the evasion cap changed because he used to run, he runs 2x evasion, but he used to run like 100 evasion on all his people or very close to it, as close as you can get. He's smelted all his runs, um, not to mention just having super high end runs. So yeah, anyway, Prospera, double attack, double evasion, accuracy, rage, 30 attack speed. Um, we'll touch on that a little later. Next is sticks. 66 as well. Look at some of these raw stats. 18, 19,000 HP. Um, he's running speed and evasion set with HP, uh, magic power, evasion, and evasion on the two evasion runs. And so, uh, again, I don't know if he knows or not that the evasion cap is now 75. You can see here, it used to be a lot higher um, it used to be a hundred and it was just such a pain. You'd have to, you know, it was always just like this big crap shoot. So now it's making, uh, with them changing that it's kind of changing the gameplay and we're going to shift with it. But I would rather not be good and learn how to become better with this newer system than have it stay the way it was. Even though the way it was, I was like 10, 15. Um, I had to counter it, but I wasn't really a fan of it. So anyway, that sticks, right? Who do we have next? Uh, Atmos, where you at, you sexy? Didn't realize how jack she was. Let's see that artist interpretation. Well, she's got a little shoulder blade definition there, but that's about it. Just like a guy, she's got these little tiny legs and freaking big jacked back. She's got her little. Oh look, it's a unicorn. I never even noticed that. It's a unicorn with a mohawk on her head. Atmos. She's got the gold boob on the right side. And uh, Lightning Fist. So, Atmos has HP, Physical Defense, Speed, and HP. Uh, the set, obviously, is Accuracy and Warrior. Now, if you look at her, she's accurate and she's quick. 
The only other person, uh, we didn't touch on stick speed. Stick speed is 52.7. The only other person being quicker um, is Sticks. Atmos is fast and she's accurate at 70 accuracy. She, he's got no evasion built into her. And it used to be that you could see the, uh, the warrior rate, like the anti-stun rate. But if anybody doesn't know this, if you think about a tank, you've got warrior down here for 50% inability effect resistance. Then you take this passive and that adds 35 to it. You're, you're already at 85%, but you can't get stunned. Now you've got to build at consider accuracy into that. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So that's not really the most accurate. Uh, doesn't mean that only 15% of the time you're going to get stunned, but the higher you get that number, the better off you are. We don't know if they cap that just like they did evasion. There's not really enough like, um, like definitive information on each stat, but that's kind of what keeps the game fun. It's just us guessing and us trying things out. Uh, yeah, so Atmos is warrior. He's weighted the stun and he's weighted accuracy into that, which I might consider doing on mine. Um, yeah, so attack speed's high and accuracy's high. And what that does is Styx comes in first. He removes the shield just as Cadius does, except Styx removes everything. And then Atmos is only 10 speed behind her, 9 speed, and she comes in and hopefully stuns with the high accuracy as she, uh, well, she'll put her shield up early. That's why he's got speed on her. When she skills, um, yeah, that's why you want the speed on Atmos. It gets that shield up quicker for the for, on her second auto. This one here that says, uh, creates a shield that absorbs physical damage by 20% of her HP. And he's got a lot of HP on her. What is that? 25,000. So, that's Atmos. Alexis. Here we are. Alexis. This guy's new. Er. So, the other ones you know. Let's take a quick look at him. Lights the... Because he's got this team. I tried it. I cannot beat it. Not even come close. Strikes lightning down to all enemies. Inflicts magic damage with a guaranteed critical hit. Auto crit. That's nice. Puts the enemies under slowdown for 7 seconds. And blocks them from disturb harmful effect removal. You can't take off harmful effects when he hits. He's got him slower. But let's read the skills through. Strikes three enemies with lights to inflict magic damage, guaranteed critical hit. Another auto crit weakens them for six seconds, stuns them for two. Shoots down uh, 12 bonus energy per enemy that's been inflicted. Wow, I didn't see that before. And attack and magic breaks them. Shoots down multiple light beams on all enemies from the sky to inflict 340 magical damage and acquires... 12 bonus energy per enemy that's been inflicted. Oh, it hits everybody. Okay, but it's saying, so it hits everybody and you're going to get, uh, what is that, 60 energy just for that happening, which is huge. But if there's only two people alive, you're only going to get 24 bonus energy. So that's kind of a nice way to read that. And yeah, he's uh, your standard mage build, vamp evasion. He's got double evasion. Uh, same 75 evasion cap even though we're not sure whether he knows that or not uh, magic shield is always 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 a skill for a mage the other ones like bleed or something that doesn't matter um, hp so when you run the first slot mine are a little more yolo with more magic power but the magic power percentage boost is only 15 where the hp is 20 so it's more efficient to run hp there then you got standard, uh, he's got HP in his, in both slots, which I think I need to consider changing, but let's see. See, you don't have to build crit into him because he's already got two crits and he's got decent crit damage, but I do kind of like having the crit in my fourth slot and, uh, increases the accuracy of all allies. So there are two things that I wanted to show real quick with, with, uh, decks that are a little different than my personal comp. Increase magical defense. So generally we go for like the offensive stats that boost your battle power up higher I don't know what the perk of having a high battle power is like it doesn't mean anything to me um, But if we look at his people who's got the highest I see why Cadius is low, but but like who really cares because he's got like this increases the magical defense You know and he's got energy gain on here. So that's not going to give him as much as attack speed would and then, uh, 
So six is his highest. Who cares, right? But anyway, that's a quick little breakdown of decks. Now, you, this isn't anything that you could have went and looked into, but uh, but just kind of seeing where he's at with the game. You know, I mentioned his accessories on the last one. He's He's got this level four, uh, four-star rune, shot up to level 20, so that's good. I mean, he just goes hard. He's always ahead of the curve. You know, in maxing them to 20, you're gaining the stats. So you can see, let's see here, Xenon, he's going magic power, HP, crit damage, and... Uh, Evasion. What do we got? Sticks. See, these aren't leveled up, so he's probably not. Those probably aren't the runes that he would want to keep on there. Prospera. We got attack. That's nice. Fifteen percent attack. That's a really good uh, rune there. And who else are we looking at? Atmos. Atmos. We've got Immortal with attack, acquired energy, accuracy. And magic defense, Alexis. Look at this one. Magic defense, twenty percent. So he's he's got some weight into Alexis. He's digging him. It's his new toy. Magic power, thirteen percent. Accuracy, nine percent. And crit damage, eleven percent. With some good subs in there too. So anyway, Alexis is his new toy. I never really considered Alexis a threat when he came out, and he was just redlined, and everybody had him. But now that he's getting trans, man, this guy's scary. He does uh, crazy damage. Crazy energy gain, plus you got the passive. Uh, it does magic on a high multi-hit guy. Everything's AoE. Oh, this one only strikes three enemies. And then this one hits everybody. So we're not sure on how many times it multi-hits, but... Yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, this video was just because in the event that you get one of those gods, I can give you my best build form or my best take, but this is the best guy in our server's build, and uh, he has been for a long time. And you can't hide the information like you can in some other games. So hopefully that was helpful to you in some way. If you like, like. If you want to comment something that you agree with, don't agree with about his build, go ahead and do that for me, please, if you would. And, uh, yeah, add me online, 04 Haugen. Uh, if you see me in game, it's KKJK. Shoot me a message. Let me know what you think. And, uh, yeah, have a good one, guys. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.